Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. Dog chef half half. Let's try again. Take two. Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Rogue Like It, the show where we play every roguelike in history. I'm your host, Boston, and joining me as always is Moonpeer. Hello. And Monkey Senior. Yo. The irony being we were talking about tongue twisters right before we started recording, and then I screwed up the intro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times. All right, let's talk about our brand new game here, week one of Below, Cappy Games Below. Uh, who, uh, I, I... I'll stop. Okay. Hand up and everything. I like it. You can go. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'd like to go first on this uh, case uh, study. Uh, yes, Mr. Moonpeer. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Blow. <laughs> yes, that's that's like my number one note as well. I put some water and some moss and a, a crab in a pot, and now I have some sort of drink. I have soup. Yep. And I have a red elixir, and I have, like, an inventory full of sticks. Yep. And what's the point again? Take those, take those sticks and put flint on them and make them into torches. Yep, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Yep. It, I I don't know what I'm... Okay, let's start first of the host. The game looks incredible. Uh, yes. Uh, that That's yep. always the thing that drew me in when they first announced it. Like, it famously troubled development cycle. It, it landed, like, three or four years after it was supposed to because they kept, they kept having problems getting the game across the finish line for one reason or another but man mm. when they announced it and they showed that style and they were playing the music over the trailer it's like a hundred percent like you have sold me a hundred percent and going through the game and that like genuine three or four minute long unskippable intro like just playing mm -hmm. it again i'm just drinking that up like ooh, this is this is my business like someone made this game specifically for me uh, yeah, that intro, man. It's so <laughs> long. It's yeah. so good. Uh, it's like good, when, but it's really long. It's when really one of the long. clouds pans across and then all of a sudden your ship is there and it just has the slowest zoom in on your ship. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And then it just dumps you into a confusing overworld and an even more confusing dungeon system. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have... I died like three times. Number one, I okay. didn't realize there was spike traps. Yes. Lesson learned. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Real quick. And they're really hard to see too. Sometimes yeah. they're just like it, it running around and oh, I'm dead. Yeah, it seems like you can't see them unless you have the lamp out and shining. Because if you have the lamp out, it does like the little red outline around yeah. traps to let you know that they're traps. But if you don't have the lamp or you don't have the lamp equipped, yeah, it doesn't do a good job of showing you that they're traps. Yeah, and like the torches don't don't show them either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I died on the spike trap. Yep. Yeah. Um, I was killed by a swarm of people because I'm an idiot, and my controller died right in the middle of it. So that's fun. <laughs> um, swarm yes. of little red diamonds. And whatever they are. Yeah. yeah. No idea. And Ring the pile of three red diamonds too. They got yep. me as well. I did unlock a shortcut. I'm guessing because I haven't died since. Um, but I unlocked a. Uh, ladder thing um okay what's it called? like a well lift like a lift that looks like a good yeah like a dumb like leader almost yes yeah i unlocked that which i'm guessing is a shortcut i believe so uh, so i um, it, for, for anyone listening i've played this before when it came out because i was super I excited do, about it hated it and i i bounced off it the hardest i could after i got to like floor 30 or 40 something i was just like i what? don't like this <laughs> like, <laughs> and i've been really excited to revisit it now that there have been a bunch of patches and i'm playing on survival mode i haven't tried explore mode though i understand it's the same game except they take away the heat hunger and thirst meters okay you just have so hunger. they get rid of that the, yes. the so stuff, basically, basically the same game but you don't mm -hmm. have to juggle that stuff which i found wasn't really that hard before i so. literally haven't bumped into it at all like i got yeah. a little bit hungry so i ate a soup and it was fine yeah I've, i think that's about I've, that's about it yeah i've died to um the cold whatever be just because i forgot i had torches and i mm -hmm. assume torches give you 
heat. Right. right. I was like, oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> what, what floor are we all on right now? Uh, four, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I think so. I'm on three. I, I discovered the pocket, whatever that is. Oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is I got a 100G achievement for discovering a pocket by shining my light on it, and it's like, fine, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I'll take that 100 gamer score. Thank you very much. Go listen to the main line show proper to discover all about that wonderful right. quest going on right now. Five gamer score in the lead, baby. What's up? Um, <laughs> have you, so, yeah. any of you uh, upgraded your um, bonfires to, to uh, blue? I got the blue thing and i think it has something to do with the pocket but i don't know because mm. i upgraded the bonfire on the beach the uh, the one that leads to the ladder thing the yeah the dumb way to lift i upgraded that to blue and then i went into the pocket and chose a symbol that it gave me no description for and then when i chose that symbol yep. it teleported me to the pot to the to the beach rather than the bonfire which i last used which was right outside the pocket Correct. If if I remember correctly, the the bonfire on the when you die and you start back over on the like the landing beach, I think, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, you can use the bonfire there to teleport to the last bonfire you've made blue. Okay. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. If I remember, but weird. again, no text in the game, so which is good and bad. I mean, it's yeah. Part of the fun of it is exploration. That's part of the frustration. Yes. Mm -hmm. They seem to have got that perfect balance where this can be really interesting and really horrible at the same time. It, 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 it's sort of this and Outer Wilds kind of live together in my brain where it's like, we're going to dump you into this game and you need to discover it. Like, And I know I 100% understand why people bounce off of these games because there's no... Once you land on the, the starting beach and you gain control... There's nothing. It tells you nothing. Yeah, like it, yeah. It, it doesn't even give you controls. It gives you nothing. So I understand why that is frustrating for some people where that there's lack of any direction, but man, do I eat that stuff up where it's like, all right, cool. Like no training wheels, no tutorial. Let's do this. Let's go find some stuff. You will play a game with zero tutorials, but you won't play a horror game. Yes, because I'm a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I know myself. <laughs> I we need to I find. Am. Okay, monkey and anybody listening, monkey, me and you, stick our heads together here, and everybody listening. The job is, and I'm not saying right this very second. The job is, we need to find a roguelike game with zero tutorials that's also a horror game, Ooh. and then force Boston to stick it in the list, and then force the randomizer to choose it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we just next next month's game is just a curated a curated title. Yes. Yeah. The scariest roguelike we can find that will make Boston poop. I would be really curious to see what a horror roguelike would look like. I Honestly, I don't know why there isn't more in that genre. Yeah. Because be imagine really this smart. kind of game. Yeah. Except you're, like, the only one I can think of is kind of zombie. Uh, and yeah. That's widely like, not played. Or like GTFO that's in early access now, or sort mm -hmm. of... Kind of procedurally generated kind of horror, but more like Left 4 Dead than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find one. Anyway, yes, below. Anyway, below. I don't have much, <laughs> much else to say because I'll be honest, I, this game confused me. And yeah. I yeah. don't know what I'm doing. I'm running around and swinging a sword. I'm shining a lantern. I'm wasting my lantern fuel because it's like, oh, there's a big rock. I'm just going to shine my torch on it. <laughs> Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for that moment. Thankfully, yeah. Lantern Fuel now feels way more plentiful than when the game launched. Um, when the game launched, most times you would kill an enemy, they wouldn't drop fuel. Oh. Um, and that was rough. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, most times when I kill an enemy, their it rolls off thing the edge. drops off the edge. Yeah. yeah. So frustrating. Just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like for probably this week and maybe next week, it's going to be a little hard to talk about below other than I'm trying a bunch of stuff and I'm dying and I'm two or three floors in and things are going okay. But mm -hmm. that's I, I found a light fragment or a light bit or whatever the hell it's called. There you go. 
I don't know what it did. All I know is that my lantern now has two little light white spots on it. So I don't Great. know what that does. But okay. I've, I found some leather armor that does something, I'm sure. I think I think I got some cloth armor at some point, but who knows? Nice. Yeah. I also got like a spiral plate. I don't know where that goes. F find out, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's, okay. Below is kind of cool and below is kind of interesting. And I, I think um, I, I'm curious to see the, the further we dive into this, how much of a roguelike it is, because death really does seem to to put you back a little bit. But mm -hmm. you're opening shortcuts and you're doing stuff almost like a Dark Soulsian sort of title. Um, but I'm curious to see how much how much there is yeah. a roguelike and how much is the, the Dark Souls elements. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, any uh, final thoughts here for week one of Below? Yeah, let's hope I figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll figure something out, I guess, uh, yeah. whether we like the game or not. <laughs> oh, well, yes, there is science yeah. to be done at the end of all of this. That's true. The most important thing in three more weeks, it, we have some science. It's funny. Uh, for those listening, you don't get to see the wondrous joy and the smile that you can see in the eyes of Boston. Anytime you mention ranking something, Boston's <laughs> eyes just light up. My brain like, is just like, yes, that's the good stuff. The rankings. <sighs> yeah. God. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for listening. And we'll see you all next run. Bye. Bye. Bye.